Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a wood plank grilled salmon and we're going to have that with just some steamed broccoli and some rice pilaf. And this is a dish that I'm definitely not an expert at making, doing the wood plank grilling. Uh, I did it once last week, this is my second try. Watch quite a few videos on YouTube to try to get the technique down. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So this dinner is going to have very few ingredients. Got my salmon fillets, got the broccoli. I'm going to put a little lemon juice on the broccoli after we steam it. And we're going to have this uh, organic wild mushroom and herb rice pilaf. And the marinade that I'm going to use for the salmon is straight out of a bottle. Very, very teriyaki. Uh, it's fun, I think, to try to like make your own marinade and come up with different flavor combinations. There's a lot of directions you can go with salmon, but this is a very good teriyaki marinade that Jennifer and I have enjoyed in the past. You can get it at Whole Foods. So I'm going to keep it simple and just use that. And if you watched my Dominic's haul, you know that I got some tweezers because I was looking forward to the challenge of trying to remove the pin bones. But these uh, prepared salmon fillets that Jennifer picked up actually don't have any pin bones. So that makes it easy. However, I am going to remove the skin because when you cook salmon this way, the skin isn't very appetizing. And if we take it off, that's more surface area for the marinade to uh, add flavor to. So last week when I made this dish, I actually did attempt to remove the skin and I failed miserably and ended up leaving it on. I think it's a little easier with these small fillets and I did watch a YouTube video today uh, trying to show the proper technique. Uh, so I got the first one done uh, relatively painlessly. Uh, so now I'll try and show you guys what I did. Um, you start from the thin end and you want to have the knife at a 45 degree angle. The first step is just to um, get started. I have to keep flipping this around. But th the first step is just to come down on the edge and get the skin separated initially. Okay, so I've gotten it started, as you can see, and now the key is to hold on to the skin and you pull the skin while you gently rock your knife back and forth at a 45 degree angle. Um, like I said, this is only the second <laughs> time I'm doing this, the first time being just two minutes ago. Uh, don't want to damage these beautiful salmon fillets, but I think I'm getting it. Hopefully that's on camera. There we go. And voila! Only a tiny amount of the salmon stayed on the skin, so that's pretty good. And that's what the other side looks like. And uh, now I'm going to do the last one. So now I've got my salmon fillets in a Pyrex dish and I poured the uh, teriyaki marinade over. I probably used about half the bottle, which is probably more than I needed, but I don't think it can hurt. And this is only going to marinate for maybe 15 minutes. I don't think it needs much more than that. The salmon is pretty delicate and you don't want to overpower the fish flavor. And I'll probably flip these fillets after 7 or 8 minutes to make sure both sides get uh, treated evenly. So now I'll show you how I break down one of these broccoli stalks for steaming. Uh, I saw a question in the comments somewhere, someone asking how we break down the broccoli. So uh, here you go. Uh, there's two ways to approach attacking the stalk, at least two ways that I know of. One way is to use a carrot uh, or a potato peeler to get the, the hard part of the stalk off. Uh, and the other way is to use a knife, uh, which is what I'm going to do today, and just kind of chop it off. Um, when I get a stalk that's thinner than this one and less tough, I'd use the carrot peeler. But this is pretty, this is thick and tough. And uh, it's just kind of hard to use the carrot peeler to get all these chunky things off. And even when you do, sometimes you still leave some of the very tough exterior around the edges, which I don't enjoy. And uh, the, the knife method is also quicker for me anyway, so I like doing it that way. Uh, but so I move the end, and then as far as the florets are concerned, the, if you just hold it like this and just cut right through the top, um, they all come off. And most of these are already now just automatically in perfect little steaming bites. Um, you get the big piece like this, and just kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but you, I just I hold it from this end, and I just use my knife to separate uh, each floret. Sometimes you leave a couple of them together when they get small and just go right down the middle at the end. Um, get some good bite sized pieces. Alright, so that's the florets. And now for the stock, 
Uh, this part is hard to work with. You can break it down into bites if you want to or just move it over here. <laughs> and then uh, the way to, to do this is like um, the beginning of a julienne dice, I guess. I don't know. Some chef show showed me how to do this. But the, the hardest one is the first slice. Oh, you can't see from that angle. I'll flip it. All right, got the other angle so you can see how this works. Um, tr holding it carefully, I just want to slice the edge off of one side to create a flat surface for myself. Now the rest of these are going to be easier. And, you know, you don't want to chop off too much and lose some of the yummy part, but tough broccoli stalk exterior is not appetizing, so you want to make sure you get all that. But just four quick chops there, and now I've got this beautiful piece of the stock that, that will be good to eat. And you can either chop it down the middle or just go like this and make uh, slightly smaller chunks. And um, there you go. So now I've got all the broccoli broken down and I've got it in this handy two-piece uh, steaming vessel. Um, so water on the bottom, perforation underneath. <laughs> Uh, and then this goes in the microwave for about seven minutes. Uh, super, super easy. So I just turned my grill on and I've got it preheating on uh, medium heat. And you can see I've also added a, a pan of wood chips. Those are some cherry wood chips that I had soaking in water for a little bit. And, you know, the plank that we're cooking the salmon on will definitely add a, a smoky grilled flavor, but these wood chips will just kick it up another notch. Even though it's completely uninteresting, just for the sake of completeness, I'll show you the rice that we're having. Uh, just follow the instructions on the box. <laughs> Brought some water to a boil, uh, added the rice, and stirred in a um, flavoring seasonings packet. And now reduce heat to low and let simmer for 18 to 20 minutes. So the fillets had a nice marinade, and now I've got them ready to go on my wood plank that I had been soaking all day in water because we want the wood plank to just um, to smoke a little bit. We don't want it to catch fire and burn. And uh, this worked out very perfectly that the fillets fit um, sideways. And I learned a trick from a video I saw today where you take the end and you fold it under, which not only helps it fit, but uh, it makes it so that the, there's a more even thickness to the fillet and it'll cook more evenly. Uh, that was the trick I was definitely missing last time. So now I'm ready to take this out to the grill. All right, so now I've got the salmon on the grill and I've tried to get it right in the center of the heat area as much as I can. And my wood chips aren't smoking yet, but I have, I have a feeling like they're about to, so we're getting started because, um, oh, I think I see a little smoke coming up. Fantastic. I, w I want to see the smoke coming out of the wood chips before I put the, the salmon on, so um, the smoke will be, you know, coming through during the cooking process instead of only at the end. Uh, but we were getting real hungry. However, I think the timing worked out perfectly. Oh, God. This, <laughs> this looks so good, that teriyaki um, uh, marinade has a great aroma to it and and so do the wood chips that are beginning to smoke so better close my lid and protect the heat and um it'll take you know 15 to 20 minutes i think um although those are pretty thin fillets so um maybe they'll only take 10 minutes i don't know we'll see i think that with salmon you want to sort of treat it like a steak like if you want a, a medium rare steak you take it off around 125 and i think that's the internal temperature we're looking for with the salmon as well so I'll test it and we'll see how it goes it's only been five minutes I'm just checking in everything appears to be in order it's been more than ten minutes for the salmon now and um, they're coming along but they're definitely not yet done maybe in the next five minutes I don't know we'll see alright so it's been at least fifteen minutes I'm not good at keeping track of the time but the salmon oh there we go 123 that looks like perfection to me, so we're definitely done. I'm going to use my oven mitts here to uh, pick up the wood plank and bring it inside for serving. So here we have the uh, final spread. I just squeezed a little bit of lemon juice over the steamed broccoli. We've got the rice pilaf and the salmon uh, fresh off the grill. It's time to eat. All right, so uh, here's, our, here's our finished plate, and uh, I'm going to give Jennifer a bite of the salmon and see how it turned out. Mmm. Mmm. Better than last week, right? Oh, yeah. I, so last week I overcooked it it's a little. It's buttery. Yeah, I, I think I sort of nailed it mm. this time. Let's see. I'll try one too. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, man. 
That came up. That's good. like it's not even the same fish that we ate last week. Mm. That texture is fantastic. I love that marinade. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to have dinner now. See you guys next time.